Hey there, welcome to another Java tutorial. So in this video we're gonna learn about do while loops. So in the last videos we have learned about while loops, the concept of loops and the for loops. So those are the most popular loops, while loops and for loops. But we also have another loop in Java which is not that popular but it is used in some situations. That is called the do while loop. The do while loop is mostly similar to while loop but a little bit different. So let's go and learn it. So the basic structure of the do while loop is first of all you have to write do then within curly braces you have to do the things and then finally you have to write while and inside this you have to write the condition and finally uh, you have to give a semicolon at the end of this loop. Okay so first of all you have to write do then the body of the loop and finally while and then the condition and oops and then you write a semicolon so the very basic difference of do while loop with the while loop is in case of while loop first we check the condition and then we do these things but in case of do while loop we first do things and then we check the condition so that's the very basic difference between uh, while loop and do while loop so let's uh, check out an example of a do while loop. So let's create another variable called b and initialize it with 1. Uh, so do the same system.out.println and inside there we're gonna print we're gonna print the value of b and we check the condition of b uh, why is not b less than 6 and here we gonna after printing the value of b we're going to uh, increment the value of b okay so we are basically doing the same thing here we are first checking the condition and then we were doing these things and here we are first uh, first doing the things and then we are checking the condition so let's go and run it as you can see it does the same job here it was it printing one two three four five and here again it printing it is printing one two three four five now one more thing that's very very important the do while loop the special thing about the do while loop is it will execute at least one time each and every time no matter whatever the condition is no matter if the condition is satisfied or not it will execute at least one time always everywhere but that's not true for while loops and for loops. In case of while loops and for loops, if the condition is false, that is if the condition is not satisfied, it will not even run the loop. But in case of do while loop, even if the condition is false, it will run the loop at least one time. Since it first runs the things, it first runs the body and then checks the condition. So first of all, it will run it at least one time and then if the condition is false, it will stop the execution at that point. So let's go and check out an example of that. Suppose I give the value of a 6. So 6 is not less than 6. Okay. Since 6 is not less than 6, the while loop will not be executed because it will check the condition and then it will go out of the loop. But in case of do while loop, uh, since 6 is less than 6, but it checks the condition after doing this, so it will first of all do these things, that is it will print the value of b once it will print the value of b once and then it will check the condition and then it will stop the execution uh, so let's write here uh, entering the while loops uh, entering the do while loop so that we can understand whenever we are entering the loop entering the do while loop and again print that out of the do while loop. So now we are ready. So let's go and run it. So if I, if you guys see it clearly, you can see that entering the while loop out of the while loop. So between, in between them, nothing happened because the condition is not satisfied. So nothing happened since six is not less than six. So these things not happened. But in case of do while loop, the condition is also not satisfied, but since it first runs the body and then checks the condition, so it is entering the while loop, then it prints the value one time, prints the value once, then increments it, 
and then checks it and checks the condition is false and finally it comes out of the body okay so this is the very basic concept of do while loop now remember this is really useful in some situations so I hope you guys will keep this handy so thank you very very much for watching this video I hope you guys loved and enjoyed this video if you really learned from some uh, learned something from this tutorial please uh, do hit the like button and subscribe I'm uploading new videos every day so thanks for watching and have a great day